NMAP is an open source network scanner that is used to scan networks. It is used to discover hosts, ports, and services along with their versions over a network. It sends packets to the host and then analyzes the responses in order to produce the desired results. It could even be used for host discovery, operating system detection, or scanning for open ports. It is one of the most popular reconnaissance tools. It also offers features for firewall evasion and spoofing. Number 2, Linus. Linus is a powerful tool for security auditing, compliance testing, and system hardening. You can also utilize this for vulnerability detection and penetration testing as well. It will scan the system according to the components it detects. For example, if it detects Apache, it will run Apache-related tests to gather information. Number 3, Burp Suite. Burp Suite is one of the most popular web application security testing software. It is used as a proxy, so all the requests from the browser with the proxy pass through it. And as the request passes through the Burp Suite, it allows us to make changes to those requests as per our need which is good for testing vulnerabilities like XSS or SQLe or even any vulnerability related to the web. Kali Linux comes with Burp Suite Community Edition which is free but there is a paid edition of this tool known as Burp Suite Professional which has a lot many functions as compared to Burp Suite Community Edition. Number 4, Metasploit Framework. Metasploit Framework is the most used penetration testing framework. It offers two editions, one, open source, and the second is the pro version to it. With this tool, you can verify vulnerabilities, test known exploits, and perform a complete security assessment. It comes packed with a lot of exploits to exploit the vulnerabilities over a network or operating systems. Metasploit generally works over a local network but we can use Metasploit for hosts over the internet using port forwarding. Basically Metasploit is a CLI based tool but it even has a GUI package called Armitage which makes the use of Metasploit more convenient and feasible. Number 5, Nessus. If you have a computer connected to a network, Nessus can help find vulnerabilities that a potential attacker may take advantage of. If you are an administrator for multiple computers connected to a network, you can make use of it and secure those computers. Number 6, Aircrack NG. Aircrack is an all-in-one packet sniffer, WEP, WPA, and WPA2 cracker, analyzing tool and a hash capturing tool. It is a tool used for Wi-Fi hacking. It helps in capturing the package and reading the hashes out of them and even cracking those hashes by various attacks like dictionary attacks. It supports almost all the latest wireless interfaces. AirCrackNG comes pre-compiled with Kali Linux. Simply type AirCrackNG in the terminal to use it. Number 7, Hydra. If you are looking for an interesting tool to crack login and password pairs, Hydra will be one of the best Kali Linux tools that comes pre-installed. Number 8, Wireshark. Wireshark is a network security tool used to analyze or work with data sent over a network. It is used to analyze the packets transmitted over a network. These packets may have information like the source IP and the destination IP, the protocol used, the data, and some headers. The packets generally have an extension of .gap which could be read using the Wireshark tool. Number 9, Netcat. Netcat is a networking tool used to work with ports and performing actions like port scanning, port listening, or port redirection. This tool is even used for network debugging or even network daemon testing. This tool is considered as the Swiss Army knife of networking tools. It could even be used to do the operating related to TCP, UDP, or Unix domain sockets or to open remote connections and much more. Number 10, John the Ripper. 
John the Ripper is a great tool for cracking passwords using some famous brute force attacks like dictionary attack or custom word list attack etc. It is even used to crack the hashes or passwords for the zipped or compressed files and even locked files as well. It has many available options to crack hashes or passwords. Thanks for watching this video, for more such videos subscribe to the channel, I'll see you in the next video.